Crazy thing is, anybody that's tuning into the Periscope, this is the first time they've seen me smoke a pipe. Never smoked a pipe on the show. It validates me to some extent. <laughs> it's like. It's like this guy's internationally renowned as a pipe smoker. Never seen him smoke a pipe. I didn't even get a chance to smoke at the pipe shop. <laughs> yeah, we're good. This is a custom blend that JD came up with for the long smoke competition. Whoa, John Dave, stop running by me like that. <laughs> 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 Woo! Yeah! Go boo! All right! Wait, no, it wasn't me! <laughs> <laughs> I had a really good angle. It was taken by this guy. So you gotta blame him. It's right there. It's the face of betrayal. We're pulling pulling against him. Keith. Don't screw up, buddy. It wasn't stems, I got a shell. Oh, I thought you got stems in New Orleans. I did get stems in New Orleans. Mike, I still got them in a bag. At some point, we'll do a um, pipe club event where we make our own corn cob pipes. And I got all the stems for them, so we're good to go. I think it's going to be like it. Six buck in entry free, something cheap. Don't don't worry about what the markup is. We got live music here. It's really nice. Never been in the Squire. Never made your pipe pilgrimage down here. It's the place to be. John David does an amazing job. Make sure that there is a uh, unique experience, no matter what the situation is. The beautiful thing is, the people at the Squire are always really good about being involved with the local pipe community. And if you're part of a pipe club, having like a shop that actually like represents you and like gets behind your, your club, gets behind your, um, just the local community, does wonders. We've had a lot of people who've actually written into the show that have said that, you know, they got a local shop, but it's a cigar shop, it's not really pipe centric. Um, and so it's kind of like the best it is what they can do. I think part of that is getting in touch with the shop owner and just let them know, like, look, we're really into pipes. We really want to, like, make you our home and kind of let them know what you want. And honestly, if they're going to be in business, they're going to do what you want because you're the customer. Now, don't get me wrong. I've worked retail for a large part of my life. And the customer's not always right. 
But in that instance, the customer's right. So, do that. We'll give you another panoramic view in just a second. Gotta tamp the ash. Anything to say to the people? Uh, anything to say to the live live audience? Keep it clean. Yeah, lots, lots of fun, good times. I'm the guy who's walking around with a bag of ice, dropping ice in people's pipe. Pipe cleaners, y'all. Pipe cleaners. Y'all need need somebody right here. Please. You want one? No, I got some. Okay. Pipe cleaner. Well, actually, yeah. There's more Chris on that Church warden is a bold move for a long smoke competition. What can I say? I'm a bold person. It's better than the corn cob I had. Well, that's true. <laughs> As you can see from the sign, we're stationed right underneath the air conditioning. So everybody from that side of the shop, compared to our side, is at an extreme advantage. Like right here, we're, we're the real deal. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Richard was saying earlier, anybody from that side that wins has to have asterisk by the name saying, <laughs> they won. They won. <laughs> But to be fair, every single one of us chose this spot. <laughs> That's good. We got a guy who just said, uh, if you brought your church warden to a long smoke competition, you came to win. So, there you go. <laughs> Might have a sing along about to start in just a minute. Woo! Yeah! Ten minute mark, ladies and gentlemen. Felt like a short ten minutes. I think I'm doing good. So happy. As I mentioned before, we got live music, got a fiddle, guitar. I mean, yeah, the Mississippi experience, really. Y'all be sure, uh, if you can, share this link out on Reddit, Twitter. I don't know how Periscope works. This is our first time really trying something like this. Of course, when we were in New Orleans, we did the YouTube embedded in the website, which is a lot easier because we're just typing to the website. With this, I don't know, we're still trying to figure it out. He's up. I'm hitting it too hard. Maybe under the parent panel.
Woo! Yeah. Amen. John There's a home. Scouts on the rocks. That's where things get dangerous. He's doing good. But it's burning too hot. And part of that is normally I have a balsa filter. And I removed it before this. Because I forgot to change it out at home. So I got, got here and it was just like pitch black. It was nasty. And so I just figure I'll remove it. And normally I prefer the balsa. Oh, yeah. But it's burning so hot. And it's burning fast. I'm probably past half of the line. Kimmy, I'll look at it. See that thing? And all the corn cheese. Hey, we all go out. Be sure to shut up. Owner of this fine establishment. Let's get going. Woo! 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 We've had Kim on the show before, and we've met, of course, we've referenced her several times. Um, but the shop was actually her parents. They started it over 45 years ago, um, and she inherited it. And she's done this fantastic job. And of course, I'm internally grateful to her because she let me do the podcast. Another one out. My head's getting too much into it. If I keep on focusing too much, y'all ask me some questions or say something. Like distract me because I'm 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 serious, man. My head's getting I like I'm getting into it now. It's like holy, holy crap. Does anyone have a trailer and a truck? Right. Silver Dodge 425. You got a move. Are are you still smoking? You still smoking? You want us to move it? <laughs> I just asked if anybody had a trailer and a truck here at a Mississippi cigar and pipe shop. Let me back it around a quarter, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So seriously, y'all ask me some questions or something. You, you might have, but I just missed it. I will say this: somebody asked him what we were smoking, and it's something that John David came up with specifically for the event. And it was, um, it's actually pretty good. A lot of people have actually said they enjoy this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
Man, I'm getting down to powder. I, it burned too. Like I just, I've been going at this too hot. This pipe is not a Bing's. This is actually. Um, gosh, I want to say it's Savinelli, but I know it's not. Damn it! I'm like pulling ash through. I'm about to be out, guys. This is actually a pipe that John David gave me as a gift. And it's um, it's a beautiful apple. Um, it's got the coat of arms like the little shield, which has got a little arm, an R on it. Who, who's that? Oh, it's a Savinelli. Savinelli. No, it is a Savinelli. Okay, so yeah, it is a Savinelli. And it's a 315. It's and it's a 315. And it's a Roma. There you go. With a loose side step. Chris, hold me, uh, hold, hold me accountable here. Yours, yours has a shield on the far end. I'm just trying to stick in the game, man. Like, I smoked this way too, like, way too fast. Run out of today. It's like fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, you're right. You're right. But still, yeah. I'd also rather not go out yeah. before the majority of people. <laughs> That's what we're looking at here. It's about to be over. I know it's about to be over. Hang on. <laughs> we almost tied. We're good. I'm out. I'm out. 20 minutes and 13 seconds. Hey. Good job. Thank you. That was better than my time in NOLA. Awesome. Look at that. Nothing. Smoked it to the base. There's nothing left in there. Look at that. Absolutely nothing. I got like a mouthful of like ash at the end. You about to be out? Well, we'll clean this and then I'm going to take you all around so you can kind of see what the setup is. Now that I'm no longer like in this one thing. Thanks, brother. Yeah, so I went out 20 minutes on the dime um, uh, in New Orleans. And so 20 minutes, 13, I'm moving in the right direction. It's not by much, but <laughs> at least I redeemed myself for the local community. Black pipe tobacco that you could use to put in the bottom of your hamster cage. <laughs> and here's a pipe that won't smoke. Congratulations. <laughs> I feel like we should get a picture together. <laughs> How does it feel to be the first one who went out this year? I just want you to know that shame will follow you. <laughs> and I hope it follows you like it followed me to the ends of the earth. <laughs> I want that to happen for you. Because it's a joyous thing when you get to come back next year. Really take it back. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> but it's really saying thank you for getting the monkey off my Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>
Duncan's over my time in Noah. I don't know. I feel good about that. You keep getting better. I know. I thought Noah was not there. So. Al. Head to free. Head to free. Hey. Two minutes, 95 seconds. That's right. 55 seconds. 22 minutes, 55 seconds. All right. Did you smoke your pork rind? Did you smoke your pork rind? Did you smoke your pork rind? Did you smoke your pork I'm out. Oh man, Winston Thompson, 23 minutes, 44 seconds. Yeah. What happened to two hours? <laughs> <laughs> Next fight. Yeah. Yeah. You meant tall. Like, some of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, as you can see, it's going to be a while. We got some serious pipe smokers here in Mississippi. My guess is these guys are going for at least an hour. And I'm not going to hold my phone up for an hour. How much have you got to drink? 20 minutes and 13 seconds. Is that how, that's how much you've had to drink? 20 minutes and 13 seconds. It's like the only thing I know how to say right now. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. We might do one near the end of it, but um, thanks for everybody. Oh! I'm happy. 25. 25. Bye, guys. Tune in. Country Squire Radio Podcast. Country Squire Radio.com.